often, when we hear about serial killers, we think of them as simply people who have killed multiple times. But the term serial killer is actually very vague and covers a wide range of criminals. Here are 10 types of serial killers. 1. Organized Organized serial killers are probably one of the first-born children in their family and experience the inconsistent parental discipline. They are highly intelligent, socially adept, and good at controlling their mood. Consequently, they are perfectly fine living with a partner. Additionally, they like to follow media coverage of their crimes and may like changing towns or jobs often. 2. Disorganized Disorganized serial killers are probably one of the younger children in their family and experience harsh parental discipline. They are average in terms of intelligence, socially and sexually incompetent, and highly emotional. Consequently, they often prefer to live alone. Additionally, they like to stay near their crime scenes but don't follow media coverage of their crimes. In general, they have little to no change in lifestyle. 3. Organized and disorganized the serial killers. Being organized or disorganized are not mutually exclusive. For example, people believe that John Wayne Gacy possessed characteristics of both types. An organized serial killer might become disorganized right before being detected, and a disorganized serial killer might become organized when he or she manages to escape the authorities and learns how to commit their crimes well. 4. Crime Sprees Crime spree killers kill again and again, and their murders are commonly associated with other crimes, especially robbery. They feel thrill and excitement from the power and authority they get when committing their crimes. For example, Bonnie and Clyde are considered crime spree killers. 5. Mass Murderers Mass murderers are believed to follow the Dietz model, which is largely theoretical and doesn't have significant empirical evidence. In general, the Dietz model categorizes mass murderers into groups such as family annihilators, pseudo-commandos, and set-and-run killers. 6. Psychopathic Sexual Sadists Psychopathic sexual sadists feel pleasure from sexual torture and murder. Some examples are Ted Bundy and John Wayne Gacy. 7. Custodial Custodial serial killers murder people who are under their care. Nurses in hospitals and nursing homes who kill elderly or ill people are given the nickname Angels of Death. They often use asphyxiation and medication overdose to murder their patients. Custodial killers have the highest number of females out of all serial killer typologies. 8. Psychotic Psychotic serial killers have delusions that drive them to commit crimes. Those who have persecutory delusions believe they're simply defending themselves from someone who wants to harm them, while those with grandiose delusions believe they're chosen by a divine being to save the world from their victims. One such serial killer is the son of Sam. 9. Organized Crime Organized crime functionaries are made up of professional killers, also known as hitmen. They most often kill for money, but also enjoy feeling power and control over their victims. Gang members and political assassins fall under this category. And those are the 10 types of serial killers. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and our other social medias. Thanks for watching!